Um, I, I really can't believe it. Uh, you know, as something when you start your senior year, that's something you always think about, and the days get shorter and shorter as it as it approaches. And coming onto the field that day, I can only imagine what it's going to feel like. And knowing that it's the last day to play on this beautiful field, and from the state, from the first day you step on as your freshman year, um, to coming to this day, you know, something you look forward to your whole career, and then seeing other people graduate as you grow older, um, it's going to be different to be on the other side of things and being being the people who graduate and the numbers on the field that are yours. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to get emotional or anything. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I really couldn't thank them enough for the last four years and of this college career and then even before that, always so supportive and positive and keeping me going. And um, I, I couldn't ask for a better support system and family throughout those years. And, you know, it's going to be awesome to see little Gracie grow up and do the same things. And maybe she won't play softball, but, you know, she, whatever she does, she's going to work hard at it. And, and that's one thing that I plan to teach her is always work hard and give everything you have and always be there to support you no matter what. Um, it, it's a great accomplishment. And honestly, um, I, I don't keep track of those things. And, and um, the day that you told me, I was just like, I, I kind of just took a step back and looked at and just thought about it and I was just like wow that is an amazing accomplishment and I've been so blessed to stay illness and injury free throughout my career here and um, the ability to keep my performance um, to where it needs to be to be able to play on the field and um, that goes a lot to the coaches and my teammates and my family um, as well so uh, it, it's an amazing accomplishment and I couldn't have done it without the people that surround me and support me. Oh, I could look at any one of my teammates and they'll be able to crack me up or anything. But I, I think on the emotional side, uh, it's going to definitely be hard uh, for me and AJ just knowing how close we were coming in here. And um, it's going to be really exciting to stick around and watch her perform her fifth year here. Um, but I think that's going to be definitely emotional uh, for me and AJ just knowing that um, we were thinking about we were going to have this day together and um, her being here another year. Uh, it, it might take a little bit of a toll on us, but um, I'm so happy that she can stick around and um, be here for another year to help the team. So, um, Mostly uh, by my teammates and, and just by being someone uh, who they can go to and um, someone they can trust and um, someone who plays with all the heart in the world and um, the energy and just lead the team in the right direction and just... <laughs> Just know that um, no matter what happens throughout your career, to always stay positive and, and things are always going to look up and that you have people supporting you around no matter what. And um, just that I'll always be there for them no matter what and um, that they can come to me for anything. Well, um, next year, I, I won't be graduating this spring, but I'll be graduating next spring, which is also kind of cool because I'll be able to experience that with Alex as well. Um, but, yeah, I plan to stick around here and be the volunteer assistant and um, see what I can do on the other side of things and just stick around and help the team. And, you know, I kind of know the teammates, how they are now, and just be able to help from the other side is going to be really exciting for me to do. So I'm excited. Yeah, it was definitely a, a different transition and um, something new. But, I mean, have some of the best friends ever. My class was awesome and really, like, they treated me like I'd always been here, and that was really nice, uh, made the transition really easy and um, has – made it really hard to leave such great friends. So I guess one of the funniest but not really funny was uh, like our very first, my, when I first came here my junior year, one of our first games we played, it was awful weather, just, I mean, it was terrible. But anyway, Maggie's out in left field and this ball, like it's like this huge high pop fly and I've never seen this happen. It missed her glove and like bounced off like her forehead. And like <laughs> it was one of those things where like I had no idea. I'd never seen that happen. And uh, I mean, she ended up being fine, which was awesome. But it was that was probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen. It was like, don't laugh. Like, is she okay? But then once she was okay, we like cracked up laughing. So something. But we play three game series or a five game tournament. So we are literally with each other from Thursday through Sunday night. And then we have an off day, and then we're back at it at practice and stuff. So we're always around each other. I mean, it's a huge family atmosphere, helping each other study for tests and uh, just trying to hang out and stuff. Um, it, it, we don't really um, we don't really get away from each other, to be honest. So. But um, yeah, I think I'll miss the the family atmosphere that like Lawrence has. Like, it's definitely like a town that is 100% behind the Jayhawks, and so that's been a really cool atmosphere to be a part of.
I mean, I think I would always want to be uh, remembered as someone that um, that people look up to, that they can call, you know, one of their really good friends, um, someone that, you know, was always there for them and trustworthy and stuff. And, um, I mean, more than anything, someone that enjoyed the game and, and you know, at the end of the day, it is a game and we only get four years at it. So something that um, – to learn from, you know, and to just enjoy it while you have it. So, um, well, hopefully, I'll be getting into law school, and then, um, if not, you know, I mean, getting an eight to five job. Uh, no, just I don't know. I'm really excited about the future. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited to to not necessarily have like the name athlete like across my forehead, and just to get to be me. Um, it'll be different, but I'm excited to get back home and. Uh, you know, be around my family and, um, I don't know, just take on the next chapter of my life, so. Yeah, it's mind-blowing. Um, I think, I don't really know how to describe it, I guess, um, because it's, like, this, this feeling of, like, I can't believe it's here, but then also, like, wow, I really have experienced so much and played, like, so many games and, like, you know, I think just with the semester coming to an end and, you know, focusing on all those things and um, we're in Big 12s, you know, all these things are lining up. So it's, although time has gone so quickly, I know that um, it hasn't cheated me in a sense, I guess. And um, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited and I'm excited that um, we get to be home this weekend and my family and everything and everyone is going to come out and watch. I think that's just going to be really special. Just being a senior this year, um, I just know that every game, even more so, I want to leave it all out there um, since it's just my last games I'll ever be playing. And um, so from the first tournament to, you know, even last weekend, there's just that extra push and that extra motivation to, hey, you know, don't take this at bat for granted or, hey, like, your team really needs you to just be loud and to dance and to bring energy today, like, don't take that for granted. Um, you know, just all those things. Um, and I, I think it's really cool to think that um, that has been my heart and my perspective through all this. And I know um, that I'm not going to leave this season with um, very, very many regrets, which is a really good feeling. Um, I think it's only gotten us closer. I mean, you know, you think twins are maybe as close as you can get. But honestly, like, we've gotten even closer and we've grown even closer because um, experiencing, um, you experience a special bond as teammates and then you experience a special bond as sisters. And to um, just go through the adversity that we went through together on the field, um, we just ha you know, can understand each other even more. And I think, and then off the field, that bond that we have has um, transferred you know, to just the long weeks of, of playing or, you know, the hard losses of just being able to be there for each other and, and pick each other back up and encourage each other and just sharing the joy of wins and successes and all those things. And, um, you know, I think it's just, I know that I'm so lucky to have had my um, best friend and sister to just experience all these wonderful memories with um, why I was at KU. I personally want to be um, remembered not necessarily for uh, my performance on the field, but just what I brought to the team um, specifically. Um, every day I, I want to be remembered for, you know, being a light on this team and being um, a positive influence and hopefully working hard and um, leading by example. And um, just overall, I, I want to leave just um, with these girls knowing that I would go to battle with them on the field and I would go to battle with anything they were going through off the field too. Um, and hopefully um, coaches and um, staff can remember me as, um, you know, just a hard worker and um, someone that did make the team better because um, I did everything I could to try to make the program better over the four years I was here. Um, it's really, really hard to see um, something I'm so passionate about um, come to an end. But on the other hand, I have so many other passions that I'm really, really excited to just start to put time into and start to pursue. And um, one of those is just healthcare and um, serving people in that way. Um, it's something that I've felt like I've always wanted to do, but um, with softball being so much of a commitment and school, like I haven't really had time to focus on that. Um, 
but I just found out I got a job this summer, an internship. Um, I'm going to be a medical assistant at Lawrence Family Vision Clinic, so that's just going to be an awesome way to get some experience with patients and stuff, and um, I'm also going to um, get my certification to become a nurse's aide this summer, so hopefully I can work as a CNA and serve, in, serve that way um, as well. So I'm just really, really excited about all that, and hopefully that you know will eventually lead to a career as um, a physician assistant or whatever um, opportunities come from that. Um, but I'm just really excited to continue to watch this team um, in the future years and continue to support them and just... Um, I know that I'm going to be forever a KU softball fan and just a softball fan in general. I love this game and I love watching it and I love playing it. And so I don't know exactly what that's going to look like in my future and how that will play out, but I know it's going to be a part of my life and somehow. Absolutely not. There, I cannot believe that this Saturday or this weekend is senior day. Um, I knew every year um, when, when the seniors left and it was always so emotional for me to be on that side of it and watch the seniors leave. And I can't even imagine how emotional it's going to be for me to be on this side of it. Oh, absolutely. I mean, from my freshman year, um, coming and hitting season and really re recognizing that Division One softball is com a completely different game than I had grown up playing. Uh, it's a completely different mindset. It's a completely different mentality. And um, freshman year was about growing and learning that. And it was thanks to a lot of the seniors, especially, you know, Sarah Ramirez and Allie Stan, who helped me. Um, to become mentally tougher that year and it was hard to see those seniors go and then um, my sophomore year um, Brittany Heil who had gotten drafted pro and Allie Clark who was one of my greatest friends on the team um, how much I looked up to them and 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 to see them go and to recognize that was going to be a shift in leadership um, becoming an upperclassman and being a junior and recognizing that I was going to um, take on a new role and I was a captain as a junior and then last year we had such a great group of seniors, Liz Koken, who had been around, um, Leah was one of my great friends, and um, Kelsey and Rizzo and uh, Spencer, and it was a, a big group of seniors that we had, and it was sad to see them go, and um, now this year it's me and my sister, Rosie and um, Mariah and Morgan, and all just, um, those three are just such great people, and, and the character of, of, I think, the senior class has really helped to develop just this team who um, loves each other and loves to be around each other so I think it's going to be emotional for all of us. Yeah I think that of course you kind of wonder what it's going to be like next year without you and it's been so great to see especially the freshmen step up this year with Kelsey Kessler on the mound, Alex Hugo at the plate, Chaley on defense and um, and, and it's cool to see that there are up and coming, you know, great players um, that Coach Smith has recruited coming in um, that are developing into great players. And to know that um, there's been a lot of big changes in the Big 12 in the recent years. A lot of the, the great pitching, you know, is graduating with us. It's been a tough senior class in, in the entire Big 12. Um, but to recognize that KU softball is, is going to be great next year. They're going to have a new ballpark, which is so exciting. And as much as I wish I could be a part of it at times, I know that um, leaving a legacy behind and I'm excited for the big things that they're going to do in the future years. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be more emotional for us uh, and Coach Smith knowing that we were her first class. We're the complete turnover um, as freshmen. We, like I said, we completely bought into um, her approach to the game and um, you know demanded that our teammates un as the years came in bought in with to the same approach and I think that's why it's going to be so emotional is to look back on the four years and know that as much as she's done for this program um, Raya and Rosie and Alex and I um, you know have been have been there with her every step of the way. Um, it's been incredible to share the four years with my twin sister Rosie I can't honestly imagine what it would have been like without her um, from you know stepping onto the field together or practice field in the fall of our freshman year to every single off season, her and I were in the weight room training together on the field training together. Um, it's, I mean, it's undoubtable that I would not be the player that I am without Rosie on the team, that she is constantly there to help my mindset. Um, she has so much confidence in me, is always keeping me positive, always believes in me, is always encouraging me um, that I am, am good enough to play among the best. And, um, and I think that I can definitely uh, attribute just a lot of my success to Rosie and who she's been as my teammate. You know, it's hard because why obviously I'm going to enjoy the, the various, you know, wars and things like that. That's that's not necessarily the way that I want to be remembered. Um, I would rather be remembered for the way that I l 
uh, was able to love and serve my teammates in the process the way that I was able to um, just try to teach them about putting each other first and um, about what it looks like to be a selfless player um, and what it looks like to you know respect your coaches and respect each other and um, I, I really hope that I, I really wish that I would be remembered for someone who um, just had a lot of love and a lot of passion for the game and um, would do whatever I could to um, get my teammates the win. So, yeah, this summer on July 5th, I'm going to get married to the love of my life, Kevin Teets, and I'm very excited about that. Um, we've been I've I've known him literally since. Um, the very the first day of my freshman year is when I met him, and he's also been walking with me for the last four years, and is a huge um, contributor to my success that nobody actually sees, you know. But he's he's been the one who, again, is constantly encouraging me and challenging me to be to be the best that I can be, and so um, I'm excited to start my life with him. Um, that's kind of in the middle of getting to go and play professional softball for the Chicago Bandits, which um, is is beyond a dream. I'll get to go and I'll play with the best and um, get to continue to play this game I love. I can't imagine um, that if this would really was my last games, how that would be. Um, so I'm very fortunate for the ability to play and who knows, maybe even in future years if, if I continue to play in, in, the, in the pro league.